This is Talk News with your very own Talk News team. Where country metal students strive to be leaders. And now, the news. Good morning, Country Meadow, and welcome to Mocking Monday. Mocking. 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 Monday. Monday. Mocking. Mocking. Spellable team meets tonight after school. Good luck and spell on. Miss Passwater and Miss McBride are raising monarch butterflies. Let's go check this out. What did you learn about the caterpillars forming into a chrysalis? Um, we learned that they first turn into a J and then they shed their skin. What did you learn about the caterpillars? I never knew that they had the creamy white on their body. What did you learn about the caterpillars? That what they eat in the inside of the milkweed, that it's poisonous. Mrs. Owen's class has been making salt no maps. Can you show us what roads you learned about? Uh, 169, US 6, and SR8. Did you know that we were having a book fair next week? It's on the evening of September 18th. That's a Thursday. We will have a leadership night and a book fair. Book fair starts at 4.30. Leadership skits starts at 5.30. Be there or else. Jokes of the day. <laughs> yes! What's the new drink for frogs? Coca Cola. <laughs> <laughs> Today will be a high of 76 and a low of 55 and a zero, I mean zero percent chance of rain. Today for lunch we are having French bread, pizza, green beans, and pineapple. And don't forget that mocking box of milk. Behind the scenes of our students. Did you know that Nathan from Mrs. Griffin's class is afraid of the Easter Bunny? Really? Let's go check this out. Is it true that you are afraid of the Easter Bunny? Yes, because he sneaks into my house in the middle of the night. Well, there you have it. Teachers, we know your secrets. <laughs> Did you know that Miss McKeever is a great baker? Let's go check this out. Hello. Hello, I'm Mrs. McKeever, also known as Mrs. M. Is it true that you like that you are a good baker? That I am. I've been baking for a long time, and I have a special recipe that I make that are called surprise meringues. It's nothing like you've ever eaten before. Thumbs well, there you have it. Or thumbs down. Pink used to be a boy's color. Vote now. If you voted thumbs up, you are right. In 1918, Children's Clothing Catalogs recommended blue for girls. The reasoning at the time was that it's a much more delicate and dainty tone. Pink was recommended for boys because it's a stronger and more passionate color. And because it's actually derived from red. And that's the truth. Go Pink, guys! Real men wear pink. This is hot news.